So as we're getting closer to uh, Cormier and uh, Stipe, I assume that's going to be a great fight, but I'm no different than you guys. I, I, can't, I don't know. I can't see the future. I don't know what that's going to do, but the speculation and the talking points and the anticipation, boy, it's all there. Got the heavyweight champion of the world taking on the light heavyweight champion of the world. And in, uh, in many eras in the UFC, we wouldn't have been able to see this fight. Dana was really big on keeping guys in their weight class and building divisions, and, and now it's to the point where fan, there's some fights we just want to see. Do us a favor and give us a fight. So that's kind of what got us to the situation. I want to speak on this, though, because uh, when I do hear the talking points come out, it's overwhelming how many people believe Stipe is going to have the size advantage. And you get that. You know what that's based on? The heavyweight taking on the light heavyweight. That makes sense logically, but not so fast. I, th I feel like this is one of the best kept secrets in MMA right now. I don't have the answer for it, but the question is, how much does Daniel Cormier weigh? I will not be surprised to the point that I will make a prediction for you guys now that when they weigh in, Daniel Cormier is heavier than Stipe. Stipe Miocic throughout his career has been very consistent to weigh in anywhere between 239 as a bottom and 241 as a height. I suspect he weighs about 240 all the time and puts on different shorts every now and then. Daniel Cormier's weight is different because he's cutting weight to get down to 205. So what he walks around at, nobody really knows. We don't ever put him on a scale when he's just walking around during training camp, after a weekend. I mean, we don't know. We know what Stipe weighs. So Daniel, I believe, is going to come in at more than 240 pounds, which leads me to predict to you he will be the heavier fighter. If I'm wrong, the absolute lightest Daniel Cormier will weigh in is 236. So if Daniel's at 236 and Stipe's at 240, there is no size advantage. I think we can agree. That's, that's a wash, right? Let's go to the other side of it if Daniel does weigh in heavier, as I predict. I imagine in the 24 hours we're going to have between the weigh-in and the fight, the headlines will come out, Daniel Cormier's out of shape, Daniel Cormier is going to be slow, Daniel Cormier is not going to be able to move. In most walks of combat, including boxing, that would be a very accurate assessment of a guy coming in so heavy, but not with Daniel Cormier, and I want to tell you guys why. First off, he's a lot bigger than you think. He has one of those bodies where he has an ability to gain weight very fast. So when you see him at 205 pounds, that requires a lifestyle change by him during his training camp. Different ways to eat, different ways to train, different amount of hours that he sleeps. It's, it's really a full focus. When he doesn't have that heavyweight, he's going to let that go. But I want to offer you this piece of evidence before any of you come in and think that Daniel took his eye off the ball here. There was one year uh, of international wrestling where he went heavyweight. He generally competed at 96 kilograms, which is 211 pounds. But one season, he went up to heavyweight, and he was almost the limit. I think the limit was 265-ish. He was weighing 260-ish. And he ended up in a tournament. He took on Steven Mako, who was the number one heavyweight United States wrestler, third best heavyweight in the world. They met up in the finals, and Daniel beat him one to nothing. The relevance there is he is one of these guys that even though he has traditionally fought at 205 pounds, and that's what you're used to seeing, he does have a history of competing at heavyweight and competing there successfully.